with anyone later? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Facebook.com slash Harry Baker Poetry. Is he single? Is he single? <laughs> He's single? I think he's straight. Are you straight? This is not gay. Sorry. Sorry, Big Papa. <laughs> I was, um, yeah, I went to this Austin Poetry Festival at the weekend and took part in my first uh, haiku death match. <laughs> so I got some haiku for you. <laughs> I bought an origami novel. Can't wait to see the plot unfold. Oh! This is a haiku about tennis. <laughs> Venus Williams' relationships don't last. Love means nothing to her. They're just jokes of 17 syllables. <laughs> Which also means they go well on Twitter. <laughs> Farmer A and Farmer B needed some drugs. They went to Farmer C. Do you want more? Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll do a post. This is, <laughs> uh, this is the first poem I wrote. Um, before I did poetry, I used to be a rapper, and uh, I had hits such as 99 Problems But Math Saint One. Mm. <laughs> After doing that, someone saw me and for some reason thought I was the nerdy math kid. So, asked me to write a poem about prime numbers. Um, so this is a love poem about prime numbers. Uh, and it's called 59. And I've had lots of fun, so thanks. 59 wakes up on the wrong side of the bed. Realizes all his hairs on one side of his head takes him just under a minute. So I count that it's because of the way that he slept, he finds some clothes and gets dressed. He can't help but look in the mirror and be subtly impressed how he looks rough around the edges and yet casually messed as he glances out the window sees the fact that he is blessed with a 60 from across the street. Now, 60 was beautiful. Perfectly trim, cute, of course, dressed in something suitable and never rude or crude at all. Unimprovable, more on cue than a snooker ball, but I like to play it super cool. And 15 hours, when it's telling that he knew her favourite flower, he thought of that every second, every minute, every hour, but he knew it wouldn't work. He never get the girls, so though she lived across the street, they came from different worlds. Or 59 of my 60s, perfectly round figure. 60, so 59 was odds. <laughs> One of his favourite films was 101 Dalmatians. She, of course, preferred the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> He romanticised the idea that they were star-crossed lovers. They could overcome the odds and the evens. Oh! <laughs> she maintained the strict views imposed on her by her mother that separate could not be equal. <laughs> and though at the time he felt stupid and dumb for trying to love a girl controlled by her stupid mum, he should have been comforted by the simple Sunset 59 away from 60. And you're left with the one. And sure enough, after two months of moping around, 61 days later, 61 was who he found. He had lost his keys and his parents were out, so one day after school he went to her house and as he noticed the slightly wonky numbers on the door, he wondered why he never introduced himself before. As she let him in, his jaw dropped in awe, 61 was like 60, with a little bit more. <laughs> She 
have prettier eyes and an approachable smile. And like him, rough around the edges, casual style. And like him, everything was in disorganized piles. And like him, her mum didn't mind her friends stayed a while because she was like him. And he liked her. He reckoned she would like him if she knew he was like her and it was different this time. These feelings felt proper, so he plucked up his courage and asked for her number. And she said, I'm 61. <laughs> he grinned and said, I'm 59. And today I've had a really nice time, so tomorrow if you want, if you could come with her to mine, she said, yes. I love talking to someone just as quirky. So she agreed to this unofficial first date. In the end, it was only really one minute early, but that didn't matter because she arrived one minute late. <laughs> and from that moment on, there was non-stop chatter. How they loved X Factor, how they had two factors, how that didn't matter. <laughs> this stupidness made them better. By the end of the night, he knew that they were meant together, and as time went by, their relationship deepened. He found all the little things about her more appealing. He had complicated ways of telling her his feelings, like his reasoning, why it would work with him, and he explained. You're 61 and I'm 59. Rotated round and upside down. That's 19 and 65. The age that one might get a job until the day that they retire. So of course it will work between us. We've got the world to be in sight. And one day she was talking about that bitch, 60. <laughs> I noticed that 69 looked a bit shifty. <laughs> he blushed and told her of his crush it was the best thing that never happened because it led to us. And 61 was clever, see. Not prone to jealousy. She looked him in the eyes and she told him quite tenderly, you're 59, I'm 61, together we combined to become twice what 60 could ever be. Oh! had tears in his eyes. Was so glad to have this one of a kind girl in his life. He told her the very definition of being primed was only one in himself, could his heart divide and she was the one he wanted to give his heart to. She said she felt the same and now she knew the films were half true because that wasn't real love. A love was just a sample when it came to real love. They were a prime example.